or it's kind of like the, um, or not. <laughs> that was a delayed reaction. What the hell just happened? How did it get tamed? I don't even know what it ate. <laughs> okay, I guess it's ours now. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Rantium here, and today we are back in Scorched Earth, and oh snap, it's gonna be an awesome freaking day, but first, <sighs> if you guys enjoy what you're about to see, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more daily videos, and if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter, link is down there in the description, so <laughs> guys, I, uh, I adorned the chieftain hat today, and uh, it looks pretty sweet, having not had this hat before, I think it looks kind of nifty, and I can kind of dig it, so guys, let's go ahead and get the elephant out of the, out of the room, so yesterday we saw the E3 conference and everything like that with Ark and the big reveal of Ragnarok and the big collector's edition reveal and oh my god my head was spinning guys the damn griffin the damn map everything just looks incredibly insane so obviously that might have shaken up a little bit of my future plans uh for what's going on with arc in the future so um I want to do a series on Ragnarok, obviously, when it comes out. Uh, I have a plan to do Ragnarok um, as the next series, uh, but I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch with a new series. Um, so I just want to put that out there that it could possibly be coming, um, but I don't want to get anyone's hopes up just yet. So I'll put that out there just for now, but we'll just keep it in the back of our heads. Just keep it back there in the back of your heads for now. But anyways, let's get back into today's episode because, damn, I'm still off the hype for me 3. All right, but anyways... Last episode, guys, we got this brand new derpy boy. Look at his face. Look at him. And I didn't realize this. You can make them sit down. Look at how cute he looks. <laughs> he just sticks his tongue out at you and he just wags his tail. Oh, what a cute little buddy. <laughs> I love them so freaking much. They're so adorable. I just want 10 of them. I just want a million of them, actually. So... He's been gaining some passive XP and stuff like that, so he's good to go, and uh, we'll be good to go on that front. But anyways, what are we gonna do today, guys? Well, inside of my inventory, or my inventory, uh, actually, no, it's not even inside of my inventory. Where the hell is it? I thought I grabbed it. I guess it, oh, it's inside of the smithy, never mind. Uh, so inside of the smithy, I have 100 narcotics because I need to make up a bunch more narco arrows, guys, because we are going after... The Megatherium. That is right, you guys. So, in today's episode, we're going to go after the Megatherium because, truthfully, I want to see what these guys are all about. I want to see... What the hell just happened? What the hell? <laughs> I don't know why it just did that. But I want to see what these guys are all about. So, let's see. I think I was smelting up a little more metal off camera. Let's see. Do I have any more? Aha, I do. Perfect. And I have a little bit more gunpowder. Perfect. Perfect. Good stuff. So I've got 35 more metal in there. I don't know if I'll need it, but I have it just in case. Let's actually check what the Megatherium saddle blueprint is. Let's just check that, shall we? Meg. Uh, let's see. Meg, Meg, Meg. Megatherium. What do we got? Okay, so it takes 50... Wow, that's that's actually fairly pricey. What, what level do you unlock that at? Uh, 52. Wow! That's actually kind of impressive. 52 is when you unlock that... The Megalania Saddle is at 73. Damn. We'll go ahead and unlock that too, because we're going to be taming that eventually. But wow, that is way more expensive than I was ever expecting that to be. Okay, so we're going to need a little bit more cementing paste, I believe. Uh, Yeah, we're going to need more cementing paste, but that's okay. I still have my chemistry bench. Oh, but I tore down the generator. <gasps> oh, crap. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. We're going to have to rebuild that thing. No doubt about it. We're going to have to rebuild that damn thing. Alright, so anyways, let's go ahead. Did I grab the narcotics? Yes, I grabbed them. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make up some more arrows and stuff like that. Some more narco arrows, or some more trank arrows, rather. And we're gonna find us a decently leveled megatherium. Now, I would love to shoot for 100+, plus if we could find something lever over level 110. Oh no, there's that lightning wyvern. So, before I go into talking more about the megatherium, this lightning wyvern scares the shit out of me. And do you know why? It's the level of it that's... Oh, it's gone. <laughs> it's the level of it that scares me. And the fact that it's a lightning wyvern. The level of this wyvern is a 170 lightning wyvern, guys. <laughs> and uh, I don't even want to put Diablo up against a 170 lightning wyvern. 
uh, because I feel like it would just melt me. I, I straight up feel like it would just melt straight through me. And I don't, I'm not in the mood to get melted, you know? I'm not in the mood for that. But anyways, I would love to be able to find maybe something above level 100. Uh, I, I'll say this. I want to at least find something over level 100. I would love to find something over level 110, though. That would be that would be amazing. But if I can only find something over level 100, I will be absolutely, positively ecstatic to get that. And so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're just gonna grab him up, uh, grab him or her up with the uh, the wyvern, and we're gonna drop him in our new taming pen. I, I love how it took me like 35 episodes to get a new taming pen up because <laughs> I uh, I'm just so stubborn. Hello, Carnos, how you doing? But yeah. So we'll just drop him inside the new taming pen, and we'll be good to go on that front. But let's see, how many arrows can I make up? What do we got? Where are the arrows? Right there. What do we got? 83? Perfect. I just need a couple more, and we'll be good to go. So, I'm going to do a little bit of scouting around, try and find us a, uh, a higher level Megatherium, and uh, we'll go from there, guys. Alrighty, so I found one, except it's not anywhere close to the prerequisite level that I wanted, but it's really the only high level one that I've seen. It's level 55, and that's pretty sad with it being the only higher level one that I've found, but uh, I haven't flown around the whole entire map just yet, but I've noticed something. As you can see, it's aggroed to me right now. Look at how much damage a level 55 is doing to me, guys. That- oh god. How in the hell is it doing that much damage to- It was just doing 300 damage to me. What the hell? Dude. How in the hell is a level 3- uh, How in the hell- oh, I almost called it a level 300. How in the hell is a level 55 doing 300 damage to me? Dude, a, a, a stock Rex doesn't even do 300 damage to me. <laughs> like, what? Holy shoot, dude. Should we just go back and tame this one? I'm just holding on this. I'm just holding on to this one for like safekeeping, just in case I don't find anything higher level than uh, level 55. But damn, I wasn't expecting this thing to damage me that much. Look at how much health is gone. Look at that. That is rid oh god, <laughs> oh god. Okay, there we go. That is asinine. Hell, I'm inclined to just tame this thing. Are you kidding? Hell yeah, let's just go back and tame this thing. This thing's gonna do like, what, like 400 damage when it's tamed? Hell yeah, let's just go back and tame the hell out of this thing. Let's see, where's base, where's the base from here? I think we gotta turn right, uh, let's see. Uh, how about you look at your map, you moron? I think we just need to go, keep going this way and then turn, let's see. Oh, you know, it's straight ahead. Straight ahead! <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, so yeah. Hell yeah, we're gonna just gonna tame this one. Level 55 doing over 300 damage to a freaking wyvern. Now, okay, I hope it's not one of those situations where it does more damage to a certain dinosaur. Like, you know how on the wyvern, when I bit the freaking beehive, it did like 20,000 damage? I hope that's not the case, uh, where it does more damage to wyverns, because rock elementals do way more damage to wyverns, so I hope it's not that case. Okay, he just did 79 damage. Did he do that to the wall, or did he do that to me? Because I can't tell. There we go. Okay. So he's inside. Good stuff. All right. Now, let's go ahead and knock this sucker out. Hopefully, he's not going to be able to get out of there. Good lord. I hope he's not going to. All right. Let's go and equip the arrows. Hopefully, I have enough. I have 112. That should be more than enough. And it's just a quick plane ride, or not quick plane ride, it's just a quick uh, uh, ride to uh, to Green Ob to grab another crossbow, if I need it, which I don't foresee me needing, but who knows. So this guy, I assume, is going to take quite a few Trank Arrows, uh, and I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, so I'm going to try and get this thing all sorts of knocked out, and it doesn't look like he's attacking the structure, or doing damage to the structure, I should say. Uh, so whatever that 79 damage was, I'm kind of curious to see what that was. Uh, so I guess we'll find out here in a little bit, so I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> there it is, guys. 
Oh, baby. Alright, let's see. What do we got for stats? 25, 16 health, 920 stamina, 405 ox, 57, 30 food, 899 weight. Wow! 124 melee damage and 100% movement speed. Okay, so Torpor is dropping pretty well. Nothing too, too drastic. But I believe this thing... Oh, I just dropped my bullets. This thing is an omnivore. Uh, let's see. There were only three bullets left. I'll make more. Ugh. But that's okay. So this thing is indeed an omnivore, but I actually think it's kibble or something that it prefers is honeybee honey. Now, because I don't have my honeybee, uh, I don't have my hive up at the moment, we're going to take a trip over to the over to the crevasse because I have actually seen uh, some beehives in there. Now, it's going to be my luck. I'm going to bite the first hive that I see and a freaking queen bee is going to pop out and wreck my face. I can pretty much see that happening the first time I bite the hive, but let's see what happens. Uh, oh god, it is dark in there. What the hell? I can't see a damn thing. Uh, wow! It is dark! I- uh, uh. Holy shoot, dude, it's dark in there! Oh my god! That is utterly terrifying! Man, if you wanted a base secluded in darkness, this is your place to go. Oh my god. That is so dark. Okay, let's see. We gotta find one closer to the ground. That way we don't have to worry about uh, flying up to the top and risking falling. Especially in the freaking darkness. I mean, it is pitch black in here. I can't see, like, anything without this flashlight. That is crazy dark. That's amazing, though. I don't think I've ever seen it so dark before in this game. That's so cool, though. I, I never thought somewhere like that existed in Ark, but that's crazy. God, can you imagine how dark it would be during, like, a storm? Oh, my God. It would just get even darker. It's a good thing there's nothing dangerous in here, because, damn, I would probably... probably I'd probably be a little bit more puckered. Okay, let's see. I'm not seeing, like, any hives down below. But the ones that I saw, granted, were higher up, but... Let's see... There's gotta at least be one, right? That's lower to the ground? God, I've been seeing videos from, like, the island in the center and stuff like that. Or mainly from the island. They grow on, like, the cliff sides and in the redwood forests and stuff. God, they're all over the place. But here, it's, like, so scarce. It's crazy. Hope Diablo is okay. Oh, God, that hoppy who just scared the hell out of me. Okay. Okay, so it's not looking like I can find any in the vicinity. Looking like I'm going to have to go up top and maybe try and find one that way. Yeah, it's looking like I'm going to have to go up top and see if I can't skim along the top of the crevasse and see if I can't find any that way. Okay, well, that's kind of unfortunate, but that's that's okay. All right, so I'm going to see if I can't find some uh, some honey and uh, we'll just feed it to the, uh, the Megatherium. Okay, so no luck with the honey, but I got some prime meats. We're going to see if this works. And no, it does not work. Okay, so let's try it with some regular meat, shall we? <laughs> I can't imagine the, the increase in levels is going to be anything great. But let's just try and see. I can't believe the, the prime meat doesn't work. Let's see. Raw. There we go. Just like that. What do we got? This thing is an omnivore, correct? Or does it just eat berries? Do, oh, I bet you... Okay, so I bet you have to... Ta it's just like the Therizinosaurus, I bet you. I bet you have to tame it with berries or like rare mushrooms or something, and then it'll eat meat and it'll eat berries and stuff like that. Or it's kind of like the... Um, or not. <laughs> that was a delayed reaction. What the hell just happened? How did it get tamed? I don't even know what it ate. <laughs> Okay, I guess it's ours now. Um, anyways, okay, good stuff. So we're at 3108.5 health, 1076 stamina, 964 weight, and 207.6 melee damage. God dang it, dude. This thing is a monster. This thing rivals T-Rex. Well, I don't know if it rivals T-Rex, but it rivals pretty good stuff, I'll say that. So we got a level 82 Megatherium. That's pretty dang good. Oh, I am... I am freezing to death. Isn't that wonderful? We need to get back to base, like, pronto. But let's see. 
Let's go ahead and take the Megatherium over to Green Obelisk, because we're going to take him, and we're going to run him over there. Because, apparently, since these things, uh, they're like giant ant eaters, uh, is basically what I get from that. Look at him, he's like in depots. <laughs> uh, they're like basically giant ant eaters, and whenever they're like around bugs, or they eat bugs, apparently the, their mouth like froths with the orange stuff. That's what I have to assume that orange like glow was whenever I was flying with him in that one clip. Uh, so, that's what I kind of have to assume was coming out of his mouth. Either that or he just had like an orange Julius and uh, he was just kind of just kind of messy with it. Or he had like a mimosa. I don't know. Maybe he was drunk. I don't know. But let's see. Is the wyvern around here somewhere? Please don't be around here, buddy. I don't need you to melt my freaking new tame. Please don't be around here. Okay, good. Doesn't look like he's around here. Maybe he finally buzzed off. Damn thing. Maybe I could take sparks up against him. I feel like I could probably beat him with Sparks, uh, although Sparks is kind of squishy. Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? All right, drop him there. Oh, wrong button. I always forget that the, the Wyverns, the, the button to uh, to drop is uh, right thumbstick. Okay. Well, good stuff. Now, let's see if we can build that saddle right away. God, it's so bright in here. Let's go ahead and see if we can build it right away or not. I don't think I can. That's the Utyrannus. Megatherium. I need hide and semantic based. Oh, damn. That's right. Let's see. Do I have any CP in here? I don't. Damn it. Uh, okay. So that looks like it's a, a hiccup, but that's okay. Nothing a little bit of a kite and run can't solve. Good stuff. Um, and then I'll just get some more hide from my box. But okay. So I'm going to grab a little bit more cementing paste and uh, a little bit more hide. And I'm going to make up the saddle, guys. So I decided to call on one of my friends uh, for a little bit of CP, a little bit of cementing paste. I decided to give him the uh, the birthday suit outfit and the uh, the top hat, and uh, <laughs> so we're pretty good. We're pretty good to go. So he's giving me some cementing paste. So uh, thank you, thank you, Ram. I appreciate you. <laughs> oh, okay, good stuff. So I got the hide inside of the uh, inside of the smithy, and uh, let's go ahead and tell him thanks, thanks. Oh, I almost said thank. And then let's just go ahead and throw in a smiley face. Thanks. <laughs> All right, there we go. Good stuff. All right, so we can go ahead and go ahead and throw this stuff inside of the smithy. And we'll be good to go, just like that. Saddles and Megatherium, just like that. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. All right, good stuff. So that should be making up any second. Oh yeah, I got a fire talent in there. Whoops. Let's go ahead and take that bad boy out of there. There she blows. <laughs> All right, good stuff, dude. All right, let's settle this bad boy up. Actually, here, let's go ahead and put that set. Let's put that talent away so that I... Oh, I'm stuck in my door. Let's go ahead and put that thing away so that I don't lose it. All right, let's see. Uh, go ahead and put that thing away. And there we go. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and throw the saddle on this thing now. It's got five levels. I assume I'm probably going to want to pump health and melee damage, but let's see. Let's go ahead and start by... Oh, he's yelling. Let's go ahead and start by pumping a little bit of health and then a little bit of melee damage. We'll see what happens. Oh, look at his cool cuddle pose. That looks so cool. Plus, I have the boost from the Utyrannus. That looks pretty sweet. Oh, that's neat. Oh, God. I can't really see with that thing. God, it's like blinding, dude. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> oh, God. That's like straight up blinding. I, okay, yeah, I straight up can't see a damn thing. <laughs> I just can't see anything. Oh, that's kind of funny. All right, I want to try this on a jug bug because apparently you do get the buff whenever you, uh, whenever you kill bugs. So I do 137 damage. Let's see, do I have the orange frothiness? I don't have the orange frothiness. <laughs> no, oh, I do have the orange frothiness. There's the orange frothiness. I'm frothing at the mouth. I got the orange frothiness. <laughs> Let's just go kill all that shit. <laughs> Come here, scorpion. I want, oh my, I do 342 damage? Are you freaking serious, dude? How much damage am I going to do to this thing? Okay, so now 228. I gotcha. God dang it, dude. 342. God, this thing is crazy. Okay, so what does that say? Insect digesting courage. That's so crazy. Oh my god. That's so cool! Oh my god, this thing is actually pretty impressive. Oh my god, plus you got the uh, the boost from the uh, my friend's Hugh Tyrannus, and that's crazy. Let's try it out on like this big group. Oh my god, dude, this thing just melts. This thing is just a melting machine. 
Oh my god, dude. Oh no, it's stuck. <laughs> there we go. This thing is awesome. Look at this. Let's see, does he have a, like a... I don't know. He doesn't have like a roar or anything like that. Oh, he does. Oh, he has, he has two attacks. Okay. So he's got the left trigger and he's got the right trigger. I didn't know that. He's got the swipe and he's got the left trigger. Okay. That's kind of nifty. Okay, and he's still frothing at the mouth, so that's pretty sweet. Here, let's go ahead and put some levels on him. Let's go ahead and put four into health and then four into melee damage. And what's really freaking sweet, guys, is the fact that he's an omnivore. He can eat both meat and berries, which means he can feed off of berries at the base, and then he can feed off of meat um, out in the wild so that he can heal up. Oh, God. Find a death worm? Not on this thing. Jesus. Not on this thing. No thanks. Not on... Oh, noon on this thing. There we go. This thing is crazy, though. He is so cool looking, too. I love the way he runs, too. It's like, um... It reminds me of the Calicotherium, because I feel like that's kind of what he's modeled after. But he's like a larger version of the Calicotherium. That's cool. That's super freaking cool. I like that a lot. Let's try and take on this Calico. 269 damage to a Calico. God, he's running away! Look at that! <laughs> that Calico just ran away! That's so crazy. This thing is so powerful. Oh, here he comes again. Oh, and he's dead. So freaking powerful. That's so cool. I can definitely dig this thing. This thing and the new Utyrannus, the, the dino to my left, are absolutely so freaking cool. They do so much damage. These are like the two new DPS dinosaurs in the, uh, like the new dinos and stuff like that. Cause, cause before you had the T-Rex, you had the Allosaurus and all the new, you had all those dinosaurs. But now the Megatherium, can you imagine going up against like a big, a big army of like scorpions and shit? They don't stand a chance. Or going out and hunting, uh, the bugs, like the Titanomyras and stuff. Those things don't stand a chance once you get your buff. Like, that's crazy to me. That's so crazy. These things are so freaking powerful. God, that's amazing. And they look so cool. I love the way these things look. Look at how cool he just sits there. He looks really kind of... He looks noble, almost. He just looks really kind of noble. I kind of like that. He just looks wise, you know? Let's see, can you make... Oh, there's a direwolf in front of me. I was going to say, can you make him sit? But uh, let's go ahead and kill this direwolf. Can you make him sit? Let's see. Oh, you can! He's just chilling! <laughs> look at him! He does. He looks wise. He looks like if you if you sat down next to him, he would tell you his life story. Like, look at that. He, he, he's adorable. I love him. That's so cool, though. Like, dude, I can definitely freaking dig this thing. Oh, he's so neat. So, guys, the Megatherium is absolutely going to need a name, too. That is so cool. And with the Utyrannus' buff from my friend, which, by the way, thank you, Ram, if you're watching, um... The Utyrannus is buff. Dude, he does so much damage. Oh my god. And look at this. Bugs? Oh my god, look at that. Titanomyras? Look at this shit, dude. And it, the buff, it just keeps on going. Like, look at all these bugs. I'm just one-shotting all of these things. Granted, they're only bugs, but still. What does the left, well, what does the left one do? Oh my god. Dude, okay, let's try out that left trigger attack on something because I want to see what the hell that thing does. Like, damn. That's crazy to me. He, he, he does like a ground, like, ground slam or like a headbutt or something like that. That's so crazy. All right, let's try it out on some more stuff because I want to see what the left trigger thing does. That would be, that's crazy. The fact that this thing does so much damage right off the bat because of its buff against bugs makes it so good because I mean there are bugs everywhere dude everywhere how much does it do against a raptor I just one shot a level 15 raptor and it harvests have you guys been noticing that it absolutely harvests it harvests everything dude look at all those freaking berries this thing could absolutely be one of the best mounts in the game like holy crap one of the best all-purpose mounts in the game not only do you get a buff when you kill bugs, it can harvest for you. It's an omnivore. Oh, God. Hello. What are you doing awake? Did something spook you? I guess so. Uh, but yeah, it's absolutely like an all-purpose dinosaur. Like, screw the uh, freaking Therizinosaurus. This thing could replace the Therizinosaurus. 
this thing is amazing. Granted, I don't think this thing can harvest, like, thatch and wood and stuff like that. Let's check. Oh, I stand corrected. <laughs> oh, my God. And it can harvest wood, too, dude. Like, what the crap? This thing is an all-rounder. Oh, dude. Look at the amount of stuff on my inventory. Look at this. It has so much stuff on its inventory. That is amazing. And stamina regen is incredible. Let's go ahead and put... Let's put six points into health. There we go. And we'll go ahead and put... Oh, I just pumped weight by accident. There we go. Let's see. I'll go ahead and tell him yaw. Yaw! Trick yaw! <laughs> Alright, we'll go ahead and dump out all that stuff. We'll get him some more meat and stuff like that. That's pretty sweet. So, guys, this thing is absolutely freaking amazing. I would definitely suggest getting one of these dinosaurs if you don't have one. Because, damn, this thing is incredible. And look at its health already. Look at its stats. We're at 14,019.3 health. 290.6 melee damage, guys. And he's only at 2,661.3 XP. That is incredible. Absolutely incredible, dude. This thing is a monster. Now, granted, it's probably going to take a little bit for the uh, for it to heal up because of the amount of uh, heals that I or the amount of health that I pumped into it. But this thing is a force to be reckoned with. Like, can you imagine if this thing could fit into a cave? Oh my god, this thing could literally solo a cave. That would be insane. Oh man, dude, I just got a great idea. If we find a f if we find a male, because this one's a female, if we find a male, we might just have to do the same exact thing that we did with the Deodon, except do this with the bigger cave, like the one up in Blue Ob Mountain. Oh, dude, we could solo the shit out of that cave with one of these. Oh, 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 oh my God, guys, that would be crazy. Oh, I got some ideas now, guys, but I think I'm actually going to go ahead and end off today's episode right here, guys. Because what a freaking day. We finally, finally got ourselves a Megatherium, guys. And that only leaves, let's see, that only leaves the uh, the Megalania. And um, that one is going to be an interesting tame. Because apparently they only spawn inside of the caves, guys. And that's going to be interesting. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, make sure you smash that like button. And subscribe for more daily videos. And if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys in the next video.